Rotella Ramasaur, strange plant, very expensive these days if you try to get some, uh, ranging from $15 to $75 for a bunch. Do I think it's the most expensive plant in the world? No, but it's definitely up there if you're looking to buy some. random places that you can go find this but the main reason that it's so expensive is because it's a really slow grower it's very different from your typical rotala most other rotalas grow fast they split they're constantly growing and need constant trimming whereas this plant does not this plant grows quite slowly and is fairly difficult to propagate in this video I'm showing you one of the methods of how to propagate this plant once you get a couple of stems of it starts growing and this is the easiest way that I have figured out how to propagate this plant there are other ways to propagate it by just allowing it to grow but for me I want to spur propagation I don't want to just wait uh, for side shoots to come off of the plant I want to enact propagation and this is the best way that I've found to do that with this specific plant that we're working with today actually already has a side shoot down there so you can actually see just how long it takes to get a side shoot from a stem that has been established for a long time in the tank and had its time to grow and is sending out side shoots this thing had grown all the way up to at least 20 inches tall by this point in time and it was time to trim it at the very least because it's just one long Rotala growing up towards the top of the tank, which doesn't look very good in an aquascape. Once it got it trimmed, it's good times. This is pretty simple. Mostly what you're going to have to do is add the plant weight to either end and lay it down flat. There is a method out there where you could actually just plant this whole thing into the substrate and hope for the best. I put it towards the front of the tank so I can actually track its progress. I can see if it's actually sprouting. I can check to see if it's uh, sending out roots. Because once it's sent out roots and it does have sprouts on it, it's going to be time to trim it. A few things that you're going to need, some sharp scissors, some Rotala Ramasaur, and a couple of plant weights. Pretty simple. Uh, as far as the parts list goes, you don't need a whole lot of stuff, so that's pretty simple. When it comes time to trim it, it's pretty simple. It's a very, very, very simple process that we're going to pick between each segment and trim basically each piece that has a root off and a sprout. It's a very simple process. Be cognizant of just making sure where you're trimming, just how many sprouts you're looking for, uh, where the roots are, and just to double check what you have going on, just to make sure that you're not cutting off anything that's useful, and you're also not leaving stuff on that's kind of useless. Now those little segments that are left over that don't have anything sprouted on them or whatnot, I typically would compost those. That's what I would normally throw away. With the difficulty of this plant getting it to propagate, I'm actually going to weight those down and throw them in a sump somewhere and see if they can still sprout from what's left. I wouldn't expect it to happen, but it is a possibility, so I don't want to rule that out just because, um, you know, the expense and kind of time it takes to propagate this plant. Now there are basically two forms of the Rotala Ramasaur Florida or Rotella Ramasaur Sunset. They're the same plant, essentially. Um, they're both Rotella Ramasaur, but one of them happens to be purplish and one of them happens to be reddish orangish. Now, typically the Sunset one is the reddish orange one and the Florida moniker is typically the purple one. So if you're looking between the two and trying to figure out what's going on, 
why you're noticing that there's two different names of it. Um, that's the deal. I prefer the Florida varietal. I prefer the Florida over the Sunset personally because I don't have a whole lot of plants that do purple in my aquascapes and I'm basically looking to add colors that I don't have already. Now, as far as reds go, I've got tons of red plants in my aquarium and I don't necessarily need more red plants at this point in time. So uh, this purplish Rotella Ramosaur Florida is coming in quite handy and uh, I'm digging it, that's for sure. Hey, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the join button, hit all the freaking buttons. There's a ton of buttons down there and uh, you can hit them all. Some of them cost money, like the join button. Yeah, we need help sponsoring doing these projects and um, making these videos and stuff. If you can, cool. If you can't, that's cool too. All right, I'll talk to you probably sooner than later, but later.